A very good morning to all. In the last class, we learned about adaptation in plants of coastal regions and adaptation in plants of rainforest. And we learned about the special features that helps the plant to adapt in or that helps the plant to survive in coastal regions as well as rainforest. So today we are going to learn about adaptation in plants of deciduous forest and about adaptation of aquatic plants. So starting with the first one, adaptation in plants of deciduous forest. So deciduous forest can be found in regions where there is very cold winter season. So where can we find these deciduous forest? Deciduous forest can be found in regions where there is cold winter season. And the plants growing here have special characteristics that helps them to survive to this cold winter condition. You know what all trees grow in these forest? Trees like oak tree, maple tree grows in deciduous forest. And they have the special features that helps them to survive in this cold weather condition. So let's see what are these features. Coming to the first one is that they have strong trunk with thick bark. So they have strong trunk with thick bark. So why do they have a thick bark? As already discussed, the deciduous forest have a cold weather condition. And in order to tolerate these cold weather, these plants have thick bark. And even they can conserve or save water in their stems. It also has some nutrients present there that keeps the plant alive during the cold winter. These plants have strong trunk with thick bark. So why do they have a thick bark? In order to tolerate the cold weather condition. Talking about the next feature that is the trees have broad leaves. So if you closely observe this picture you can see they have large broad leaves. So why do they have these broad leaves? They have broad leaves in order to capture lots of sunlight during summer. Then what about winter season? The trees shed their leaves during winter season. They shed their leaves during winter season in order to survive and to prevent loss of water. So we all know that plants lose water through their leaves. So in order to prevent loss of water, the trees shed their leaves during winter season. And during spring, the leaves grow which mark the onset to summer. So these are some of the special features that helps the plant to grow in the deciduous forest. And what are they? The first one is they have strong trunk with thick bark. So why do they have thick bark? In order to tolerate the cold weather condition. Then we discuss about their leaves. They have large broad leaves. So these are some of the features of plants which grow in the deciduous forest. The next thing is about adaptation in aquatic plants. So what are aquatic plants? So we learned in the first class, aquatic plants are plants that grow on water are called as aquatic plants. So what is the meaning of word aqua? Aqua means water and lotus, water lily, all these are examples for aquatic plants. And these plants also have some special characteristics that helps them to grow in water. And some of these aquatic plants grow under the surface of water. Even some have only leaves that are growing above the water. So now let's take the example of water lily. So now let's take the example of water lily and learn the adaptation in aquatic plants. So let's see what are the special features that helps them to survive in water. The first thing is that they have floating leaves. They have large floating leaves. If you closely observe the picture, you can see one side of the leaf is in touch with water. One side of the leaf is in completely in touch with water. And what about the other side? Only one side is in direct contact with the sunlight. So these plants have large broad leaves that helps them to capture lots of sunlight for the preparation of food. So the first special feature is that they have large floating leaves. And the second thing is hollow stem. 
They have hollow stems with air spaces. So aquatic plants have air spaces in their stems and leaves. So why do they have that? They have air spaces in their stems and leaves that helps them to float on the water. And the next thing is they have flexible stem and leaves. So why do they have flexible stem and leaves? They have flexible stem and leaves in order to tolerate strong water currents. So how do they bear these strong water currents? So as these stems and leaves are flexible, they can easily bend with the flow of water. So like that, they can tolerate the strong water currents. And the next thing is the leaves take in air and it sends to all parts of the plant, including roots. So these are some of the special features of aquatic plants. So what are they? The first one is they have, they have large floating leaves. And the second one is about air spaces. So aquatic plants have aquatic plants have air spaces in their stems and leaves that helps them in floating. What about the next one? Then we learnt about flexible stem and leaves. They have flexible stem and leaves that helps them to tolerate strong water currents. Then what about the seeds of these aquatic plants? The seeds of these aquatic plants float and can reach far away places. So these are the special features of aquatic plants that helps them to survive in water. I hope you all understood about the adaptation of plants in deciduous forest and adaptation in aquatic plants. So let's meet in the next class and discuss a new topic. Till then, thank you.